I'm in another house. I have dogs sitting. Again, yeah, hopefully you guys can see the dogs in this video. If not, you'll see them in the next one. The dogs. Hello, hi friends. Welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met already, hello, hi, the name is Quinn. It's very nice to meet you. I am 23 years old and I work three part-time jobs, three, four, it depends on how you want to count them. I work a lot of jobs and a lot of side hustles and life gets pretty crazy. I am showing you guys today how I organize my time to make sure that I can do all of my jobs and still have time to do side hustles and enjoy life. Currently right now, I'm actually also filming a video where I am showing you a week in my life of working all these jobs and how I make it all work. So after you watch this one, that video should be coming out next week. If it's already out, go watch it, enjoy, keep, stalking me you know because <laughs> that's basically what it is you're just following me around so a little backstory on how i got the jobs that i currently have because sometimes that's the hard part when you're working hourly jobs is to find a job that works with the availability that you have of the first job so that was a lot of words <laughs> The first job that I have is I am a server at a restaurant. So being there, it is a restaurant that's open from 11 a.m. until midnight, sometimes on weekends, even later until 1 a.m. So I work nights there. That is my availability there is working nights. Then I got a part-time job at that restaurant doing an admin position, which is in the mornings starting at 8 a.m. until, ooh, he just shook the camera. So the admin position in the restaurant starts at 8 a.m. until about three o'clock and that's one to two days out of the week and those are kind of set days so i got a second job that was going to be mostly in the mornings early afternoons because knowing the restaurant that i work at right now if i was working in my restaurant in the mornings I had that as the first job of the day say i need to do a double i was never going to get out on time the type of restaurant that i'm in your out time was never like the exact out time you would either leave a little bit early or you'd be leaving like a couple hours later so i was like i need a job where i'm going to be getting out on time in the morning so that led to me finding a food hall, which is basically like an upscale food court. You have a lot of local foods there. It's really good. With the food hall, they really don't need you to stay after hours. Basically, it is an extremely rare thing where you don't get off on time. So I work there in the mornings. Mornings, they open at 11. Work there in the few hours that they need me in the mornings. And then if I need to do a double, I can very easily go to the restaurant job and serve at night. So there is a chance that I will be working from 11 in the morning up until 1 in the morning, essentially. <laughs> that has happened. So then I have my side hustles that I do. The side hustles is this, dog sitting. I dog sit quite often and I also walk dogs. I do that through the Rover app, which is a really good app to use for dog sitting and the likes, but you have to make sure that the people in your city actually use Rover if you want to go ahead and dog sit through it. The other side hustles that I do is I'm also a photographer and a graphic designer. So whenever people hire me for photography needs or design needs, I just go ahead and do that. And I slide that into my schedule whenever I'm needed. But those are the most rare out of all the jobs that I do. Though I do want that to be more of my career. So I'm gonna be focusing more on that in the future. But for right now, I'm gonna be showing you how I slice everything together and still have time to enjoy life. <laughs> So the last thing before I get into my bullet journal to show you guys how I slice everything all together for my week is some advice for you if you're planning on trying to get multiple jobs. If you're working jobs that are more retail or restaurant, you know, things that aren't the stereotypical career jobs, you know you can't make a career out of it, but if they're just like the hourly part-time jobs, you wanna figure out what for you is your priority job. For me, being a server at the restaurant is my priority job because I get the most money out of it. I make the most money out of tips and then I can get the most hours out of it. So I gave them the most hours out of my Sunday, 24 seven hour, whatever. They can get the most of me from the week. And then it kind of trickles on down from there. Though, like I said, my career that I wanna go after is my photography and graphic design stuff. So if somebody wants to hire me for photography or graphic design, I will always put that as a priority ahead of the other jobs. To say someone needs to hire me to photograph an event, I will always make sure that I can go ahead and photograph that event because that is my priority in life is to make sure that I can get that career going ahead of all my other jobs. There only was one exception where I wasn't able to do that, but that in itself is its own story. But other than that exception, I will always choose to do photography or graphic design ahead of working at the restaurant 
or going to the food hall. So the thing for you is to make sure you know where your priority is. Is it gonna be the one that makes you the most money at the time? For that, that could be being the server at the restaurant. You can get a lot of good money there. Maybe being a bartender at a bar, you can get a lot of good money there. But say you're also like me, where you have possibly a part-time job working in the industry that you wanna work in, the field that you wanna work in, whether it's something like nursing or something creative or that's all my mind can come up with right now, then that is your priority and that's probably why you have the second job because maybe you're starting as an intern or a really entry level position in the field that you want to work in and it's not making you enough money so you're getting that second job. Figure out what your priority is and that's where you're going to want to put aside most of your availability too. But also make sure that you're making enough to pay for your bills. I hope that made sense, but we're going to go into me showing you my availability for my jobs and then how I line everything up for the week and scoot everything in to make sure that I have time to enjoy life. Okay, so I'm filming this on their ottoman. Hi, Taco. They named their dog Taco. I love when people name their dogs after food. <laughs> So the bullet journal that I use is a Scribbles That Matter. I got it from Amazon. The pen that I love to use for everything is this Pilot G2.05. This is a bag that I got from Ipsy. I unfortunately don't know where you can get one like it other than Ipsy. And then the markers that I like to use for everything are just Crayola Super Tip washable markers. They're pretty nice. So the first thing I want to show you guys is what my thing normally looks like. If you're new here, I also do cash envelope stuffing videos. So I normally have everything set up where I have my weekly schedule on the left along with some to-dos and then my cash envelope stuffing on the right here. So you can see what it looks like for this week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'll put marks of when I need to do filming certain videos. If I need any meetings that I have to go to, I said maybe film. I'm not sure. <laughs> so I, when I would do a full size spread here, this is when I would also mark when I was going to certain events. Also, if I needed to do any kind of uh, photography, I photographed a wedding here at the end of March. So that is basically how I have it all set up. January, unfortunately, I didn't think I was going to be still using this journal, so I didn't have like the month in the beginning. So it's basically just the week and the envelopes here. So I'm going to show you guys this. Okay, so I want to show you guys on this spread how I set up my availabilities for different jobs. So the first thing you do is normally you would have one job set up first and then you could talk to them. They tend to be your priority job from what I've seen recently from the people that I know. But you just find out what your priority job is first and what their availability is. So say you're working, your first job is at a retail, say you're working at a grocery store for your first job. That might not be your priority job. And so you wanna go and find a second job part-time. Maybe you wanna get into the music industry and so you wanna work at a record label. So you're starting to work for your local radio show. So what you want, would wanna do is try to find out the availability that you need for the priority job that you have, which would be the radio show, and then fill in everything else with the grocery store job. So for me, what I have is job one, which is a server at a restaurant. Did I spell restaurant wrong? Possibly. So this is also the job where I also work an admin position underneath. So for them, how my availability works for them is it is going to be Tuesday and Thursday. Can you even read that? Yeah, Tuesday and Thursday are admin days. Those were days that they had me come on to do part time. And those are the days that they specifically need me for those hours. So that is going to be 8 a.m. until 3 p.m. And then every other day, Wednesday, and then Friday through Monday. So I went and I asked them what is the latest I can come in to do closing shifts. And so for those hours, that was going to be 5 until like 5 p.m. until 12 or 1 a.m because that's when they close. So then my second job, the second job was actually the busing at the food hall. And now I worked there for a bit first until, if you guys have been following along, I was working there for a bit first until the vendor work opened up and then everything got adjusted because even the owner there when I started working at the vendor was like, you're gonna get more money working at the vendor, so give them more of your hours. So for there, I just work Tuesday and Thursday from 4 p.m. until 9 p.m. So I will go from the admin position in the morning into working there to bus. And then my job three is 
is cashier. I guess it's a cashier. I also just make the food. <laughs> so cashier at food hall vendor, I guess is what you could call it. And for them, they basically have everything else for the morning, Wednesday and then Friday through Monday. The hours that they open, the earliest I would get in would be 11 a.m. until 4 p.m. Now my jobs are about a 15 minute drive difference from each other so the reason why I try to give myself about an hour break in between is in case I need to stay later at one job for whatever reason there's something that's happening and I'm running a little bit late in case there's traffic and also to give me time to eat a little bit maybe go to the bathroom if I need to and then also change clothes into a different uniform so that is my availability and what it is at at each of my jobs that I have and then I also will just sprinkle in some of the side hustles that I have so into over here what my schedule tends to look like with all of this in mind here's what my availability can look like throughout the week so Monday I'll work vendor 11 to 4 p.m. server 5 to 12 a.m. because that's when they close on Mondays and then Tuesdays I will do admin 8 until 3 p.m. and then busing 4 to 9 p.m. and then it's basically kind of those same things throughout the rest of the week so vendor 11 to 4 server 5 to 12 and then basically these ones the same thing the rest of the, the rest of the evening and I put until 1 a.m. because that's when they close on on Friday and Saturday so that is what my availability could look like if all of my jobs schedule me for the days that I'm available to work now my weeks don't always look like this I'm gonna go ahead and cross out what they normally look like here for you so recently I tend to have Saturday and Sunday mornings off. The vendor tends not schedule me those days. And then sometimes my serving job will either not schedule me Mondays, maybe not, or they won't schedule me Wednesday, Wednesdays. I usually am always on for the weekends, sometimes during the week. Now, when I'm putting everything into my bullet journal and I'm needing to add in either dog sitting, dog walking, or any of the other things that I have going on, I will go ahead and see what I have available after I put all of my schedule into the dates that I have available. And I'll say, like, I have dog walking on Wednesday. Dog walk at 9 a.m. Through over, you can put down the times that you're available to do dog walking. So I put that I'm only available for morning walks because the earliest I can get to work is 8 a.m. So if I walk a dog at 6 a.m., that's totally doable. Maybe also I need to do a photo shoot with someone, so I schedule that for the weekend during the morning. Photo shoot at 10 a.m. I would do it definitely in the mornings because of the lighting and everything. So say that's at 10 a.m. or say that someone pre-books for me for a Saturday way in advance and they wanna do a sunset shoot, I will just ask the day off and do it that day. Oh, I didn't realize my mic went out. I have no idea how long I was talking without audio recording okay so when it comes to fitting in some social hours and everything this is where it comes into play really knowing what my schedule is and talking to my friends and knowing what their schedule is say I'm also not working Wednesday night and I really want to hang out with Grace or I really want to go out and grab dinner with a new friend I'll make sure I know my schedule have everything written down and then I'll help I'll, I'll write them in it's kind of kind of weird to have to do that but I'll say dinner with Grace. Now when I was living with Grace it was definitely a lot easier to hang out with her uh, between times because we would just kind of just know when each other at home and then just hang out with each other but this is how I would also schedule in some social hours. So I hope this makes sense here for you guys. It might not. This is basically just how I do everything. I have my availability set up to where basically I can work any day out of the week. Grace with her two jobs I know that she always makes sure that she has one day asked off for every single week. She doesn't work Mondays because she wants to make sure she has at least one day where she's not working. I am kind of a workaholic, so I make sure that I work every single day. I like to have work. Um, this is also how I also schedule in when I'm gonna be filming these type of videos. I know what my week is gonna look like, as I showed you here. I know what my week is gonna look like, and so I pencil in when I think I could be filming. As you can see, Tuesday I thought I was gonna be filming, maybe filming a grocery shopping video, that didn't end up happening so now I'm filming now and it is Thursday so since I penciled it in I know what I'm doing.
but that is how I can manage my time and make sure that I get all of my priorities done and all my tasks are done and also make time to hang out with people and enjoy life. Okay, so I hope that made sense here for you guys. I know that my schedule is a little bit crazy, hectic, weird to look at from afar, but this is basically how I make sure that I get everything done that needs to get done. My schedule comes in from all of my jobs and then I write everything down and then I kind of put everything in around when I'm scheduled to work. Once again, I am filming a week in my life of working. Hello, Taco. Hi, look at you, you're so cute. Oh, look at your little gray beard that's coming in. I don't think the camera can see you. This is Taco. <laughs> he doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> So once again, I am filming a week in my life of working all these jobs so you guys can go ahead and follow along and you can see this in action of me doing everything. If you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more of my face and see me try to conquer the human race, go ahead and subscribe. You can find me at all of my social media, at Quinn Kaylin. We can chat, become best friends, DM me, send me pictures of your dogs, pretty please. Tell your dog I said hi. If you have any more questions regarding trying to get all these jobs together that you want to do, go ahead and ask them in the comments below and I'll go ahead and try to answer them as best as I can. Of course, I'm not like an expert on having multiple jobs. I just have multiple jobs and I've been doing it for a few years of having multiple jobs. Or if you see any questions down in the comments below that you can give answers to, go ahead and share some advice. Share the knowledge wealth with your peers. It's good. Education is great. I love and appreciate you guys so very much and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I don't know how to, I'm already sitting down. I can't fall back. Bye. So the big doggos are named Taco, Bonzo, and then the little one is Mozart. So good. <laughs> this one's Taco. This is Bonzo and he just woke up from a nap. Hi Bonzo. This is Mozart. <laughs> Hi, buddy.